Hello and welcome back. This time I'm going to put together the Z-axis. I'll be using the linear guides, a ball screw, bearings, etc. The ball screw will be driven by a motor to create movement. But first of all, the first spindle to raise alignment. Don't worry, it's just a rough alignment to start off this fun. I'm going to make a custom drawbar. This will allow me to use tools I have to do some rough alignments. Now I'll be able to attach my ER32 collet chuck with a precise rod. Let's prepare the first rails and put them on. Using the carriage I adjust the spindle mounting position to make it parallel to the rod. Of course I know there will be some error caused by the rod deflection and spindle runout at the two adapters, but with a lot of measurements I'd call that a close enough alignment. After all it will be adjusted later. Now when I think that those two are parallel, I'm adding the second rail with all the diode gauge measurements. and the last z-axis rail, it will be used for the tailstock. Lots of screws and measurements and we are ready to go forward.
that's made the QA for the pulley. The ball screw drive is ready to mount on the lathe frame. Here's the non-self-locking nature of ball screws. It's something beautiful. Now the design of the axis drive. It consists of the motor in the mount, the pulley with a belt and a tensioner. Heading on to the tensioner. ZW3D allows me to do quick designs and turn them into mechanical drawings. So let's make it. Doing here some markings. After some rough cuts, let's get a bit more precise on the mill. The fun part of this project is that usually when I make a design in front of the PC, sometimes I get some ideas during the work and apply them, though the drawing was a bit different. Usually it's caused by the stock material available at home which I don't have to buy. But on the other hand, sometimes you just look at your work and see how much you have to learn about what you do. But after all, it usually looks close to what is visible on the picture. First angle projection used here. Now the next part, the motor adapter. 
Same process, I made the 3D model first and now some pictures for the milling guy. Here we have the servo motor I will be using. It's the same one I was showing you in previous videos. Same process, marking. Cutting. And now the fun part. And now even the funnier part, the welding. and the debugging. That's how we should call the assembly process, in my opinion. But no bugs found this time though. And it seems to be mechanically working, to be continued in the next part. Thanks for watching.